Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a web launch tutorial in which we will create an application to launch uh, the Android browser with a URL that we enter in our application. I have pre-placed on our screen a uh, text box that will accept our URL and a button to launch that. I've also placed an activity starter. I've set the uh, text to a nice large size and the box to 75 pixels high and a fill parent wide. I have set the browser, um, uh, the GoGo -Go Gadget browser button to 75 pixel high and a nice large font uh, so that it can be seen and used. So let's go um, uh, over to the blocks editor. Uh, in the blocks editor, under my blocks, we're going to see our activity starter, our launch button, and our URL text. So when the button is pressed, we want the website to launch. So the event we're going to use, the activity from the user, is that click on the launch button. Um, so I've dropped a button on the viewer, and I renamed it to launch button so I'd know what it does. And here I'm going to uh, give it some activities. And what I'm going to have it do is when that button is clicked, I want it to set the activity starter uh, URI. Here's the URI. So we're going to set the activity starter URI to the text from the URL text. So we'll grab the URL text text. Uh, so that's going to happen. Now, um, once we do that, um, we need to set um, the activity um, that it's going to do, which is actually pull that activity starter call, which you see right here, activity starter start activity. So the only thing we lack at this point is setting the um, action for the activity starter. So let's go back to our browser here and let's click on the activity starter. Now this may seem a little bit like um, voodoo and magic, all of these uh, this information here, but you pretty much only need uh, that action um, put in there, and I'll show you what we put in there. All right, in the action field, we're going to type Android dot intent dot action dot view. Now that may seem like cryptic nonsense, but suffice suffice it to say. Um, we are telling the Android operating system to try to open this URL that will pass in through the data UR. Normally with the activity starter we would have to pass an activity package and activity class although to be perfectly honest at this point I've had little to no success um, doing that with um, most of the applications but URLs work very well. Alright next, next let's test this real quickly on our emulator. All right, we've packaged up uh, our little web launcher and installed it onto our emulator here. So we're going to start it. Now, here's something very important. If you really want to create this kind of application, you're going to have to use some logic and some text sanitization um, in case people enter something like cnn.com. Um, when you do that, your browser is going to crash completely, or rather your program, your application will crash. That data URI has to be exactly what the view is looking for, which in this case is a fully formed URL. Um, so even www.cnn.com would crash it. It has to be fully formed as an HTTP colon forward slash www cnn.com and then that will send that URL to the browser launch the browser and download if you were really going to do this you either need to control what the URL is or you need to check the URL and correct it if someone hasn't um, uh, put in a correct URL alright guys happy inventing and feel free to post any questions